Good morning. Welcome back. It's Friday Coffee Talks, episode number 56. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We got the coffee in the Jimmy Fallon mug today. Mm. Delicious. You know who needs some coffee? My son, Parker. So, you know my kids, they've been on here a few times. Parker's my six-year-old. Fallon, my little four-year-old, was on a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm going to tell you a story from a couple nights ago. So sleeping, passed out, you know, middle of the night, I hear my little girl screaming, crying. So we go running in there and she's had a little accident. So took care of her, um, happened to look at the clock and it's three o'clock in the morning, got her changed, new sheets, the whole shebang. And as I'm tucking her back in to go to sleep, I hear sounds like speakers coming from downstairs and our living room just so happens to be under Fallon's room. And so I kind of groggily walk down the stairs and what should I find when I come around the corner? But Parker sitting on the couch, three o'clock in the morning, watching YouTube and playing his switch at the same time. I was like, kid, what are you doing down here? What in the world? Why are you awake? And he's like, oh, I woke up and uh, I wasn't tired anymore. So I just came downstairs and I'm like, what are you talking about? Go back to bed. It's the middle of the night. So put the switch away. And as he is, he says, Dad, I've beat three kingdoms of Super Mario. And I'm like, dude, how long have you been down here? What time was it when you woke up? And you said, 1215. Like, you've been watching TV and playing video games for three hours in the middle of the night? Like, go to bed. Um, yeah, needless to say, he was a little cranky the next day in a little bit of a grumpy mood. Uh, when a kid doesn't get as much, as much sleep as they're used to, kind of throws things off. Me as well. Um, and that's kind of what I want to talk about today is productivity. So, um, we went from my kid not sleeping and watching YouTube in the middle of the night, uh, great parenting, Connor, um, to productivity. So I feel like it's one of those things. I see it quite a bit. I don't know why the Instagram algorithm has hit me so much, but I get a lot of the like experts now as I'm scrolling through reels and things like that. And all the time I'm hearing about all these productivity tips, um, and they all seem to be great things. Um, a lot of them I do myself anyways, but I feel like the way that they're being portrayed to people is, is kind of snake oily. Um, there's no one size fits all for anybody. And I think it's silly to think so, um, that adding one of these things to your routine is going to magically change things for you. I mean, constantly hearing about things like cold plunges and meditation and gratitude journals and red light therapy, and saunas, and who knows what else. All these things, breathing techniques, um, all these things that are kind of out there now, and and people talk about them as if, like, if you just do this one thing, your sales are going to jump through the roof, or your productivity is going to be so much better. Um, And as a blanket approach, I just don't see it, Um, especially if you're not changing other things down the line. Um, I'm hesitant to to buy into the notion that if you don't change anything else about your life or your approach to work, or in my case, your approach to sales, that adding a cold shower in the morning is going to magically turn things around. It's not. I mean, it's, the reality is that no matter what you do in the beginning of your day or at the end of your day, whatever, um, no matter how much you sit there and you journal or, you know, hop in the sauna or, um, uh, who knows what else, um, meditate. It's not going to be one of those things that just turns things around because if you, no matter if you do that and then go to work and you dial the same list of 150 useless prospects that you got off the internet with the same boring email, or you give the same, uh, unvaluable cold call, they're not, people aren't just going to start magically answering the phone because you're not doing anything differently about the way that you approach your work and you approach your prospecting. Now, if meditation is something that once you do that, then it inspires you to improve other things in your life, then yes, absolutely. That's a valuable thing. Uh, I'm not knocking any of these things. In fact, I've tried most of them. Um, I have the calm app on my phone. I do meditation when I can. Um, I enjoy it a lot. Journaling is wonderful. I find writing down things to be one of the most effective ways that I can kind of process my thoughts, but I'm not naive enough to think that, you know, a five minute meditation in the morning is going to up my quota attainment by 50%. If I'm going and I'm doing the same garbage things in my workday that I had been doing before. Um, so I think as far as productivity goes, 
if those things are helpful to you and these these kind of tips from the experts are things that add to your productive productivity, then sure, go for it. But just adding these things on their own is not the secret key to everything. The secret key to everything is doing more work more effectively. Um, now, again, I'm not in the hustle culture either about go and put in 18 hour days and don't stop calling people until they call you back. That's not good either. Um, but I am for the focused, targeted, um, doing more of the right things. Um, that's what's going to lead to more productivity, more success down the line. Again, if you're in sales and you're cold calling or cold emailing and you use a list that means nothing and you're, you're just sending a pitch out into the nothingness of people that don't care about what you have to say, that's not going to work no matter how much meditation you've done ahead of time. If you are sending a pitch to IT directors talking about something that they don't care about, it's not going to be successful no matter how much red light therapy you've done beforehand. But if you can use some of these tips to be more effective and more targeted and create a pitch or a hook or whatever you're going to use to get to people who are the appropriate people to talk to about what you're selling, then then yes, that is going to be a successful day for you. So um, again, kind of boiling down, I don't think that these things are the key that's going to unlock everything. I think they can be valuable given the right um, weight in your life, given the right uh, perspective. Uh, but it's all about improving your mind, your clarity, your perspective to do work better, not just adding this in and hoping that everything's going to turn out okay. So that's my two cents. Um, if it's useful or not, um, I've heard of a lot of great things. So if you need some productivity tips, I've heard of a lot of them. I've tried most of them. I'm happy to, to help if I can. But um, again, I think it's more about doing the right things the right way. So do more of that. Let's try to do more of that. Cheers, Jimmy. We'll see you guys next week.